Will it start? Will it start? <laughs> What's up, guys? Back at it again. All right, I'm here at my buddy Davey's house, and we're going to try to get his red Camaro going. What'd you say? This is a 94? Yeah. 94 Z28. Got it for a sweet deal. It's got a beautiful paint job on it. I traded it for this. He traded it for that. The rendezvous with 200 and what, 60,000? 300,000 miles? Something like that? 286,000. How much? 286,000. 286,000. Traded it for this. 148,000. 148,000. But yeah, it's been very neglected. Look at this guy. He's got a damn lake in here. I told him months ago to invest in a car cover over at Walmart for 50 bucks. But apparently he ain't got to it yet. Busy man. I got other shit going on. All right, yeah. Other we, stuff. We got we to gotta take care of this car, man. We're going to be going on car shows and stuff. Can't bring pull this thing up stinking like mildew. You're right, you're right. That carpet looks good under here being sucked by water. Though. All right, so will it start? We're gonna go get the battery charger, see if we can start it up and get it back in the driveway out of the grass before it rots away. All right, so this car will actually start up. It's just that the vats is something wrong with it, so. The easiest way I found to override it in the in the past with my uh, my 98 Camaro was you just turn the key on and you leave it on until you see the security light go out and it might take up to 10 minutes or so until it goes out but it will go out and then you turn the key all the way to the off position and then it should be able to start after that that's what I found anyway All right, Davey yeah that's right <laughs> every time all right, so see how the light went out. We waited like 10 minutes or so. Went out between five and 10 minutes. Turn it off. I take the key out. Put it back in. Light should go out. In four days. Nope. Yep, light went out. After, what'd you say, four dings? Yeah. After four dings, he said, I didn't count them. You can go back and listen if it's that important to you. Right up. But yeah, your batteries, man, are pretty dead. We should let it run for a while. Well, yeah, we can to let it uh, charge up a bit. Yeah, play, I guess. All right, well, there you go. It started. Hell yeah. Rock on. Oh. Got the LT1. I don't know what kind of trannies in this. If anybody knows, throw it down in the comments. What'd you say? Oh, he says it's the Corvette setup, which I think is anywhere the same as the Z28, practically. He's squeezing all the water that he had in his floorboard out there. The back seat. Still got a lake in the back seat. And so, yeah, saturated. I feel like at this point he has to pull the carpet back and really vacuum it all out. Yeah. Yeah. There's some baking soda in there, I'll be all right. Baking soda, yeah. We're going to leave a couple boxes, like a hundred. Get some bags of rice. We <laughs> Got the 17 inch Z06, C5 wheels with 275, 40, 17s on there. I wonder if I can get some uh, money for blood damage. Yeah, right. I got insurance, Don. You can try. Do you have blood damage on it? Full? You got full coverage? No, that'll probably help your insurance, dude. No, you can get it out. I would pull the carpets out though, and then vacuum out the water from underneath them. So it doesn't sit there and soak it in your paint and then start rotting your floorboard out. Man, I 
hate the neglect. It rained one time. Yeah, right. We've had rainstorms for like the last freaking three months. No, this has happened to me in the past with cars. It sucks. It really does. But probably uh, the T-top seal's probably leaking or something on the window. There you go. That makes me feel better when you just talk about how there's a leak and stuff and stuff. I'm neglectful. I'm neglectful. Everybody else don't have to know. Look, he's got his golfing gear on. Redneck golfer. Hell yeah. Shit, he just told me that he found this window cracked open. It wasn't closed all the way, so it's not even the seals. But has it ever flooded before this? Yeah. Oh, it has? Oh, so maybe it is a little bit of seal. But not that bad, right? Or yeah, yeah, it has, yeah. If you can see it built up on the carpet like that, then it's bad. I get the fucking softy side. This is it ain't work. Pretty nice for a rendezvous. Yeah, no, nah, ain't bad at all.